Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel Pharma Blog. Today we are going to start the gastrointestinal tract chapter from the subject medicinal chemistry. So today we are covering the 10 MCQs from this chapter. So the first question is peptic ulcer caused due to the infection of the options are gram negative helicobacter pylori, gram positive helicobacter pylori, both of the above or none of the above. As a helicobacter pyroli is found in the gram negative form, is which is usually does not having the gram positive form. Hence, the ulcer is gram negative helicobacter pylori. So, the peptic ulcer caused due to the infection of gram negative H pylori infection. Next question Methylation of imidazole ring of histamine produces. Agonism to H1 receptor, agonism to H2 receptor, antagonism to H1 receptor or antagonism to H2 receptor. So the methylation of imidazole ring of histamine produces agonism to H2 receptor. Uh, that is the, it has a agonistic activity when the, we have changed the SAR of histamine, when we, dulled, when we does the methylation of histamine it causes the agonistic activity to H2 receptor. The next question is which anti ulcer agent lead to gynecomastia due to its anti androgenic property? Gynecomastia means enlargement of chest in men. So which drug is involved in this uh, gynecomastia property that is sucralfate, cimetidine, pentoprazole or famotidine. So this one anti ulcer agent have the property of or may cause the gynecomastia because of its anti androgenic property and the answer is cimetidine. Cimetidine causes the gynecomastia due to its anti androgenic property. The next question is ranitidine is A or N diaminomethylene thiazole derivative methylimidazole derivative, amino alkyl furan derivative, amino alkyl thiazole derivative and the answer is methylimidazole derivative. Which proton pump inhibitor decreases the efficacy of oral contraceptive? Okay, when proton pump inhibitor and oral contraceptive to get an, uh, taken together then what will happen is it will decreases the efficacy of oral contraceptive. So which is the proton pump inhibitor? So answer is lansoprazole, pentoprazole, rabeprazole and ismoprazole that do not have ability to decrease the efficacy of oral contraceptive but lansoprazole have ability to decrease the efficacy of oral contraceptive. The next question is Prolongation of benzodiazepine activity in presence of omeprazole is due to inhibition of gastric acid secretion, inhibition of oxidative metabolism, promote CRS depression by crossing blood brain barrier or it potentiate GABA receptor and causes chloride ion influx. And the answer is inhibition of oxidative metabolism. The prolongation of benzodiazepine activity in presence of omeprazole is due to inhibition of oxidative metabolism. The next question is which type of interaction occurs between proton pump inhibitors and ketoconazole? The options are synergism for antifungal activity, decreases ketoconazole absorption through GI tract, prolong the clearance by inhibition of metabolism or no interaction occurs and separately acting agents. So the answer is decreases ketoconazole absorption through GI tract. The interactions between proton pump inhibitor and ketoconazole is decreases ketoconazole absorption through GI tract. The next question, which basic rings are present in omeprazole? The options are Imidazole and benz benzopyridine, benzimidazole and pyrimidine, benzpyrimidine and pyrrole or benzimidazole and pyridine and the answer is 
benzimidazole and pyridine these two runs are present in omeprazole structure next question s enantiomer of omeprazole is rabeprazole ismoprazole lansoprazole or pentoprazole the stereochemistry of omeprazole that is the s enantiomer and r enantiomer so the s enantiomer of omeprazole which is a active form and that is nothing but the ismoprazole ismoprazole is a s enantiomer of omeprazole the next question during interaction with hcl benzodiaz by benz imidazole proton pump inhibitor converts which of the following intermediate compound 2 fluoromethyl benzimidazole n chloro thiophthalamide thiophthalamide sulfenamide or nitroimidazole and the answer is sulfenamides during the drug interactions with hcl benzimidazole proton pump inhibitors converts to sulfonamide intermediate compound okay friends thank you for watching this video and subscribe and press the bell icon to the pharma block channel and please don't forget to press the bell icon to get the latest update video and also visit our website gpetonline.com for the preparation of study materials we are providing their notes and mcqs and if you like this video please give a thumbs up to our video thank you